the screen that video is incredible and your performance against Mark Moray. I think a lot of people thought we were going to win that fight, but very few people saw it happening in quite that long at the start. Can you just take me through your feelings after that first match? You must have wanted to be very hard. Yeah, because a lot of people didn't know why I had an effort, you know, like an out of the ring after a shoulder surgery, so they weren't sure that the right hand would be the force it once was. Um, so going into that fight, once again, there's a lot of unknowns. And what turned up was, you know, a very good version of myself, my time and speed and power was there, and um, I was just, I'm just fortunate that I was in a, uh, in the Oaks Arena, packed out crowd, you know, loads of good news. Big up with a better record, he's uh, 29 fights, he's never lost, he's in Kosovo, uh, he's in Benji, that's his name, but... Chujai! 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 Yeah, whatever. Well, um, <laughs> but he's, uh, apparently he's been in the spot with Vladimir Klitschko and all these guys, and he's, he's the reason why after 29 fights now he's 40, um, it's not because of crap, you know, it's because you know, he's been a handful, but apparently I didn't believe you were going to be the dark and brown and not ask you some questions. And for me, that's, that's the music of my ears. Because I want to fight people who can test me and so I can show what I can do. And I believe I'm the best in the world, so it's for me to get through a bit. Shannon Briggs, that's the old job. That guy, he's fighting on the fucking card as well. So Shannon Briggs is fighting on the card. If he's to win this fight, then uh, I'll be fighting after that. So it's a fight that fans want to see. I think the guy's you know, a bit past his best, but people want to see this guy get banged out then. Okay, I'll bang him out here. Um, let's go back to that first day again, I guess, in the morning. What did you find out about yourself in that fight? And what do you want to find out in your fight against the Cobra? Uh, first time I found out that you know, I'm still the force I once was. You know, I realised that in sparring, I realised that in the gym, but when the lights are on with a little gloves, you never know, you know, and although I wanted to be, I was not to the bank. There was nothing I hadn't done to prove it against. So to go through the motions to get going, you know, then might be going out there in front of the big crowd, and to have my timing to be what it was, to avoid all the shots, to knock my opponent out with the first broad drive, it just let me know I'm back at my, back to my best, and um, this is as long as And what do you want to fight against the Cobra? Obviously you're looking to get back to the top of the heavyweight division, um, this is five years ago, it's going to be going to go away, but looking forward to fights with the likes of the Bruce, Joshua, what do you want to try and get out of yourself against the Cobra? One thing you can't do is look too far to the future, you know, although, you know, we show the Bruce to fight in my own car and I'm going to fight in my office, right? I can't go into the fight thinking about Shannon Bruce, you know, I've got to focus all my energies on his arm and go with that. There's not much to know about him, there's not much I can lie about him. Not making much noise, but you know, these are the danger guys. This is the guy who's had 29 fights and never lost. So, um, although he's not beating the feet world class names, who says he could? You know, um, it's, it's, it's an interesting situation. I just need to focus 100% on him to get that out of the way. Not only win, but win the start. How is your training this like different from your training in the first time? Um, it's pretty, pretty much the same. We um, work with nice punch, punch combinations. Um, uh, time and rhythm, just getting a bit relaxed whilst punching. And um, there's lots, lots of the stuff that I, I'm doing uh, in training, it's, it's really the stuff that's going to get used in the fight. So I'm not going to show you too much today, but you're going to get a little taste of it, some of the punches I'm throwing, and uh, the speed of power. Obviously, you're on the last fight, it's been more than three and a half years later. Are you finding the training easier this time, or is it just as hard? Um, it's just as hard, it's hard, but it's always going to be hard, you always push to your maximum. Um, if you're completely out of shape and you go for a mile run, it's going to be tough. If you're in shape and you go for a 10 mile run, it's still going to be tough. You know, so however you think of it, just keep moving the goalposts to do more or, or do it to more intensity. So um, training is always tough. If training is easy, come fight night, it's going to be tough. So I've always been a big believer 
in a train hard fight easy. And uh, that's, that's always the case.